Oh, oh, oh. What's the rush, Lionel? Important job. Got to rush, but as a fleet air arm pilot, one has to rush with a little style and savoir faire. Oh, check, check, check. It's all checking. Still, abide by the rules. That's what I always say. Lionel. Sorry, can't stop now. Got to go. Speak to you later. But Lionel. I said later. Later! <coughs> That was your tail rotor coming off. You see, Lionel, I was trying to tell you earlier, you left the refuel cap loose. But you were too busy rushing to notice it, weren't you? Oh, well, <laughs> yes. I suppose I could have been a little more careful. Could you see your way clear to getting me out of this? <laughs> There's only one way out for you, Lionel. That's down. With style, style and savoir faire. You see, Lionel, the incidents caused by things falling from aircraft are growing in numbers every year. That's as it may be, but why does it always happen to me? That's what I want to know. Well, that's what you're paid for, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, as the Fleet Air Arms flight safety symbol, it's your job to point out the problems that face us. For example, do you know how many door panels the Fleet Air Arm have lost this year? At least one, and it hurt. Yes, but do you know how it happened? Yes, it fell on me. No, stupid, how it came to be jettisoned from the aircraft. No, I don't know. And if the truth be known, I, I don't much care. Tough, because I'm going to tell you about it anyway. A Royal Marine commando stick in planes for troop drill instruction. During the drill, the air crewman explains that the troops are not to touch the operating levers of the escape hatches, except in an emergency. Later, during a training flight, the aircraft captain initiates the pre-planned and briefed emergency drills. Guess who didn't pay attention to his brief? Result, one lost panel. And one damaged brain box. What brain? Ha ha, very funny. And the Marines are far from being the main offenders. Take the pilot of this aircraft. He's in a hurry, so why wait for a maintainer to open and hold your door? That's why. And you'd be surprised how often that sort of thing happens. Okay, okay, I take your point about panels falling off and windows breaking, but uh, isn't it all a bit, uh, how can I say, uh, small time? Yes, I suppose one panel or one window might appear small time, but the fact is, we lose over 60 <laughs> panels a year, and dozens of windows are broken. So what you call small time is beginning to look very much like big time to us. And of course, other items are involved as well. Here's a nice heavy piece of equipment, a gust lock being removed. Will it never end? Heavy, isn't it? This time it fell on you, so no harm done, but last time that happened it hit the stabilizer, which cost us a lot of money to repair. Here's another example of panel damage. This one involved lack of supervision. Instead of staying until the panel is securely fastened, the supervisor goes off to sign the 700, leaving a junior rate on his own to complete one of the most important parts of the operation. In this case, the rating forgot to check the scallops on the bay door to ensure that the latch was correctly fastened. This was the result. Not very clever, and totally avoidable if the correct procedures had been followed. Lionel, you haven't listened to a word I've said. Of course I have. But while you were dribbling on about panels, I took the opportunity to get changed. But you're not in the Marines. Temporary assignment. They wanted someone really smart, so uh, who else would they choose? Hmm. Who else indeed? Right. Tom. About Tom. Breathe Oh dear, that's not quite right. <laughs> Lionel, I sometimes get the impression that you don't take this flight safety job of yours very seriously. Get me down! All you ever do is make a spectacle of yourself. While these incidents cost the Fleet Air Arm hundreds of thousands of pounds a year. 
to say nothing of possible injuries to ourselves and the general public. Join the club, Lionel. You're just another thing that falls from aircraft.